love is easy. Falling out of love, not so much. But for Lara Jean, falling out of love is as easy as putting pen to paper. Because whenever Lara Jean decides she doesn't want to love a boy anymore, she simply writes them a letter, puts it in an envelope, addresses it, seals it up, and tucks it away in a keepsake box underneath her bed. And if you think this is a perfect recipe for disaster, well, you'd be right because one day these letters get sent out and Lara Jean has to pick up the pieces. I never thought that I would like a book that was as fluffy and frilly and girly as To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, but the writing was surprisingly easy to get into and I did feel like I was watching a cheesy teen drama show, which ended up being really addicting. Even though there were so many different characters, each one was developed just enough so that they all felt cohesive in the story. I'd have to say that one of my favorite aspects of this book was definitely the family dynamics. Lara Jean is so close to her older sister Margot and her younger sister Kitty, and the three of them have such a wonderful relationship with their father as well, which was really nice to see. Family dynamics are so important, especially in YA, and that is typically the area that is the most lacking in books, which made this dynamic all the more refreshing. Not only is the relationship between the four of them really close, but it also shows the family dynamics of a not so typical family, seeing that the father is a single parent after the death of their mom only a few years before the story began. Not only that, but the mother was Korean, which makes all three of the Covey girls half Korean, so there was a really special cultural element to the story with a lot of really great references that I thought worked extremely well. The whole world within this book seemed to have such a dreamy, soft around the edges feel. However, Lara Jean journey is anything but a dream come true. It's full of twists and turns, love and betrayal. Which brings us to P.S. I Still Love You, which picks up immediately where To All the Boys I've Loved Before leaves off, in which Lara Jean has a change of heart and it seems like she's finally decided what boy she wants to be with. So that means it's time for a happily ever after for Lara Jean, right? Well, not so much. At school, Lara Jean discovers that a video that appears to show her hooking up with her now boyfriend is circulating online anonymously, and Lara Jean has to dig pretty deep to prove who is behind it all. Not only that, but when another boy from Lara Jean's past shows up, things get even more complicated. The wholesomeness and at times naivety that Lara Jean has throughout the first book definitely carries through to the sequel as well. However, by the end of this one, Lara Jean has grown so much as a character and is definitely ready to take the world by storm. We see the majority of the same characters from the first book in the second one as well, with the exception of a few new characters added in, which I think brightened the story up a lot and was much needed and definitely did not detract from the story at all. I will say that towards the end of the book, the story did seem to drag on a little bit and I felt like the loose ends could have been tied up earlier on in the story, although some might argue that that would have meant that the book would have sped up a little bit too much. So it's all really a matter of personal opinion. The only issue I had with the sequel was who Lara Jean ended up with in the end. I felt like her character showed so much growth throughout this entire book and the decision that she made was definitely a step back. All Lara Jean wants is a perfect picturesque fairy tale love story, but real life is never as simple as it is in books and movies. So when everything seems to be crashing down around her, Lara Jean shows up the importance of words, family, and love, and that the cure to any stressful situation is as simple as baking some cookies. Mm -hmm.